you can now integrate ChatGPT for O Mini into your Google Docs. See, last week I made a video on how you can integrate ChatGPT for O Mini into Google Sheets. For example, you can make a prompt that will tell me a fun fact about this country. I call that by going equals GPT. This function comes up. I give it a prompt in inverted quotation marks. I tell me a short fun fact about I press the ampersand symbol and I click the cell that has the referencing country. Hit enter and it's in a second it should give me a short fun fact about this country. Perfect, it's done that right away. Let me just format this better. And the magical thing here is I can drop this down and do it all to, to all the countries really easily. A lot of fun, the applications here are kind of endless if you use GPT for Sheets quite a bit. In the comments of that video, somebody said, well, can you integrate this into Google Docs? And it turns out that you can. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can integrate ChatGPT for o Mini and the other language models from OpenAI into Google Docs. Now, I wanna be very clear here because it seems that I wasn't clear enough in the video where I show you how to integrate GPT into Sheets, which if you wanna watch that, I'll leave it linked up here. But the integration itself is free. However, if you use ChatGPT like this, you're using the API, the Application Programming Interface, which means you have to pay for those API credits. But more often than not, it's a lot cheaper using the API than actually paying for the $20 a month. This is just a cool way to use it because it's so, so cheap and so helpful in some of these instances. I'm gonna show you the functionality that this can do, bringing ChatGPT for Omini into Google Sheets. I'm gonna show you where you can download the app script that I've made for you that you can have for free. But I'm also gonna show you how you can mend the app script to fit your needs, which makes this thing a lot of fun. Instead of giving you the bread, I'm giving you the kind of recipe to make your own pizza dough if you want. Weird metaphor, but I hope you get that. So if you look at my Google Docs, you can see that up here, I've got a tab that at the moment you won't have. That little tab is called GPT Assistant. If I click that, I've got a couple of options here that I've created. Um, and if I go generate chat completion, it just allows me to create a normal chat completion as I would in the chat GPT interface, but it's just in Google Docs. So here, for example, I'll say, write me a 600 word blog about yerba mate. Yerba mate is a tea that often gets drunk in Chile and South America, just for an example. I hit enter and you know that it's working if it's running the script and you don't have an error message. So what it's doing, it's sending that prompt to OpenAI and then back into Google Sheets. And now within a matter of seconds, I've got my 600 word blog or so. Let me see if it actually is 600 words. Pretty spot on, 657 actually, so it's a bit more, fantastic. So that's pretty cool and all, but then what if I wanna change the prompt or change the wording because I'm not quite happy with it. So let's say I want to expand on the conclusion here. I go to my GPT assistant, I go to writing assistance and I wanna expand on the text that I've selected. Now I've created an app script that has all this functionality in the back end because I often use these things and whatnot. And now that <laughs> text is expanded quite a bit. A very cool feature. Now there's a lot of more things you can do here. You can uh, process a selected text in a certain way that you want, which isn't here. For example, I've got here write assistance, improve the writing, change the tone, expand and simplify generate an outline, find key points, uh, fact check, and there's more creative tools like generate ideas, create a metaphor. Let's say I wanted to just turn this whole thing into, oh, the whole conclusion into Spanish and really make it a lot shorter. Process this selected text, it's running the script and it's telling me, uh, trans I'm gonna tell it to translate to Spanish and make it a lot shorter. Kind of run the script and in a second it's kind of do just that and as you can see it's writing in spanish and it's shortened that quite a bit and uh, un mundo lleno de bebidas de moda el mate distancia you know you get the idea really really cool useful if you use chat gpt if you use google docs and gpt a lot you can kind of have it in the one go now the app script looks like this obviously i've got my api key here blurred out for safety purposes but you can see 
that I've got a bunch of things here with that creates the dialog pop-up box that you saw, and then the predetermined prompts for each one of the drop-downs. For example, simplifies the selected text for easy understanding. It has a pre-populated prompt there, which you can change if you wanted to. The most important thing that you need to know here is that if you go all the way back down, down all the way here, you see model GPT-40 mini, you can use GPT-40, GPT-4 normal, and any other of the models available in the API for OpenAI. The max tokens here, I've got is 2000, meaning the character output that it has a limit to, and the rest. I created this because somebody in our members community gave me the idea that we should build something like that. By the way, we run an AI ranking and automation hub community. It's an online community where we help you how to use the latest AI tools to maximize your work, to be able to rank your website number one and create some pretty cool and powerful automations for marketing and search engine optimization. You can check that out in the resources in the description. You can check that out. If you wanna check that out, go ahead and check out the description the resources in the description below, a lot of fun. And one of our users recommended it for us to build this. Uh, and then it took a live of its own with the GPT for Google Docs. So what do you do with this code? Where do you get it? And how do I input it into my document here? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to create a fresh new Google Docs. And for the moment, you do need to repeat this process for every Google Doc that you create. So I suggest you have this in a Google document that you are working with all the time. We're working on a Chrome extension that allows you just to install it once and then that's it. But for now, this will do. If you open up a Google Doc, a fresh new document, you're gonna to go to extensions and press the app script section there. It will automatically open up an app script sheet and I need you to delete what is on there already you need to paste the code of the app script that'll be placed in the video description below. You can have that for free and you can paste it here and you're nearly set to go. The only thing you need is set your API key right here. If you don't know where to get your API key, I'll leave a video in the description below and just up here, it should show up now, of how to get your API key from your Playground account. Once you've got your API key in there, you're going to save that project and you're gonna go back to your original Google Doc. And you realize that, well, the little tab here isn't there. What you need to do, the GPT, ta GPT Assistant tab isn't there. You need to just refresh that Google Doc, give it a second, and it should come up right there, GPT Assistant. And now you can generate a completion just as you would with ChatGPT. The first time that you run it in that Google document, you will need to authorize it because essentially you're running a custom application within your GPT workforce. You're gonna go okay, but don't worry, that's the only time that you're gonna to have to do that. You choose on the Google account. If you need to double verify, you need to go to advance and then allow the project by clicking that button, go to allow. And perfect, now if I go back to Assistant GPT and go generate chat completion, it's running the script. And now I see this pop-up box, which means it should be working. Let's do another test again. So this time I've asked it to write a blog about Arabian horses. Uh, the blog post should be 600 words in length. Hit enter, it's running the script, it's calling the open AI, and in a second we're going to see our blog post here. And boom, there you go. I've got my little blog post about Arabian horses. And if we change these again by going to GPT Assistant and seeing everything that we can do here, we're gonna change the tone to casual and go okay. Right away, it's changed the tone of that selection to casual. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Now, what I want you to understand here is that the app script that we've generated, the best way that you can use this and make this your own is by copying this whole thing. Going to ChatGPT for O or Claude, because I actually built this in Claude, but once you've got that code, you can ask ChatGPT to create the functionalities that you would or make a prompt that you can click down and select that you often use. All you gotta do is go to GPT-4O and tell it to understand this script, for example. 
just so it understands the, just so it understands what it's about, all its functionality, what it is. And then you can just tell it to change it in the ways that you deem it's going to be more useful for you. I highly recommend you get used to using that because it's going to be a very, very powerful tool. And if you want to learn how to use this stuff to really dominate your digital marketing and your search engine optimization, your SEO, we have a whole course on how to do that within our, our community. You can go check that out in the classroom section. We actually have an AI powered SEO masterclass and we teach you how to use all these tools for marketing, for search engine optimization. And more often than not, the strategies that you that you learn here, you can kind of integrate and place into any of the other work that you do in your workspace for the most part. Again, you can check that out in the description below. If you don't wanna sign up to that group, that's more than okay. But if you found value in this video, I'm gonna ask you to please give me a like and a subscribe so you can keep watching these videos and maybe share this video with someone that you think might find this useful. Again, thanks for watching. Cheers.